Hi, back in Parliament, Steve McGee, member for Melton, and our second last week before we break for the winter recess. But it's been a quite a busy week, even though I was on the list to speak on two bits of legislation, one around gambling uh, and one around local government amendment, uh, act, I should say, uh, and didn't get a gig. So that's what they think of me speaking. Um, but I have done a member statement uh, which was in reference to the two new schools that are going to be built in Melton by 2026, the secondary public school and the new primary school down at Weir Views, but more so around two teachers uh, out of um, uh, Exford Primary and Melton South Primary who have done 40 years of service. Uh, so have a look at that member statement if you can on the video uh, and I'll extend my gratitude to those two teachers for their fantastic uh, effort. But our teaching profession right across the board and in particular across Melton, uh, both public and private and non-government schools, you do a great job, keep up the good work. Um, other things that have happened this week, um, had a couple come in last night, uh, Wednesday night, uh, Charlie and Michelle who won a raffle. Some would say they were very unlucky to win the raffle because they came in and had dinner with me in Parliament House. Uh, and it was a lovely evening, it was great to catch up with them. We had a bit of a chin wag about everything that's happening. Uh, and it was good and the food was great and we compliment the chef and um, we had a very relaxing night. So thank you Charlie and Michelle for coming in and having dinner with me. And as I say, I apologise if you drew the short straw. Um, many presentations this week uh, in particular today, the Victorian Inclusive and Disability Advisory uh, uh, Council, uh, talking about um, uh, you know, community members that have uh, disabilities and providing for them and including, including them in everything that we do in their lives and our lives. And we've got to make it easier and a better understanding. We have to educate people a lot more, but there should be no reason why they don't have access to employment, good health services, you know, good recreational services, um, access to good public transport, things like that. And um, they do a power of work uh, for all people that are within our uh, disability community, but it's more about able people understanding and ed being educated about including um, our great community members from uh, that and I commend the council for all the work that they do. And uh, yeah, and I'll get that All Abilities Playground in Melbourne one day. Um, Fraser Property Group came to see me who've got big plans to build uh, an industrial estate in Melton. Uh, some issues around roads in regard to it, um, but I'll take that matter up with the Department of Transport. Um, but it was nice to meet up with them with the plans, could lead to you know, and possibly even up to a couple of thousand jobs. That's what we need in Melton, and that is industry coming in, providing employment, so people don't have to travel out of Melton uh, uh, for work. So uh, it was great to speak with them. We had a couple of ambulance meetings this week uh, about some ambulance resourcing in different parts of the state. I've raised an issue around the Melton and Bacchus Marsh area, uh, and I'll have further discussions with the Minister's advisor about that, and of course, You'll be aware that I was involved with the non-emergency patient transport review last year and tabled a report to the Minister just before Christmas. We're waiting an outcome of that uh, and Health Select, one of the private operators in the non-emergency patient transport area of ambulance, came in to speak with me today about a range of things, but it was great to catch up with them and talk about some, uh, some uh, things that they wanted to raise with myself that I'll follow up, but also if there are other things they need me to take forward, certainly happy to do so. Uh, as I say, the, um, at the moment there's current debate going on about uh, nuclear energy and the opposition's position of not denouncing Peter Dutton's position on introducing nuclear energy across Australia. And we're talking about also at sites in Victoria uh, uh, and potentially it could be down at um, Gippsland or Latrobe Valley. Uh, I've mentioned Anglesey, places like that. Uh, uh, but the Leader of the Opposition will not denounce that issue that they're not going to introduce nuclear energy into uh, Victoria, which our government has flatly rejected uh, and will continue to do so. And it's certainly not the cheapest. It's going to take decades. What do you do with the waste? Where do you put the reactors? All those sorts of things. So if you want to have it in your backyard in Melton, please let my office know. 
Uh, or if you don't want to have it in your backyard in Melton, please let my office know. Um, but uh, I can tell you now, our government will be flatly rejecting it and fighting against it in any shape, way or form. So, quick wrap up. Got a big gala dinner tonight for the Royal Flying Doctor Service that I've got to go to. Went to it last year, it was a fantastic event. They do a great job. It's a big fundraiser. Uh, so we're going off to that tonight. Back in Melton tomorrow. I've got a service at the Shrine tomorrow for uh, a Remembrance, Aboriginal Remembrance Day. Um, so I'm going to the Shrine for a service for an hour or two tomorrow and then back in Melton tomorrow afternoon. Thanks very much. Have a great week.